from CBS News, this is The Early Show. Live from Fifth Avenue in New York City. Thanks, Harry. Well, a home fire can quickly become a devastating tragedy. Last week's deadly fire in New York City is a heart-wrenching reminder of just how important it is to have an escape plan. The death toll climbed to 10 over the weekend when a ninth child perished from that fire. So here's the question. Do you have a fire safety plan for your family? Saturday Early Show anchor Tracy Smith is in Alexandria, Virginia with more. Good morning, Tracy. And I bet most people don't have a fire plan for their family. Good morning, Hannah. Yes, it's so important. This is Mary Kay Oppie. She's president of the Home Safety Council. Thanks for sharing these important tips with us this oh, morning. Happy to do it. Number one is you got to know that there's a fire. Absolutely. Tracy, a fire can go from first flame to flashover in as little as three minutes. That's how much time you may Just have to get three out. three minutes. You so have have smoke, to have alarms. smoke alarms to wake you up. Otherwise, you may sleep right through. We've talked about the importance of changing the batteries. We just passed daylight saving time. Yep. You need to change those batteries. You can also test them. You take a Room handle. Uh huh. Hit that little button in the middle there, and what do you hear? Whoops. Hopefully you hear. <laughs> well, you're supposed to hear. There, there you go. Then Either you know it's working. On a ladder or with your finger or use a broom handle, that'll, that'll ensure that your smoke alarms are working. If you can, upgrade to interconnected alarms. These are alarms that operate on wireless technology now. You can install them yourself. The advantage is that if that fire is far from you, it'll take a while for the smoke to get to the alarm near you. But interconnected alarms, when one sounds, they, they all, all go sound. Off. That gives you more time. Okay. If you're building a new home, it'd be nice to add sprinklers like home they have in this house here. The ultimate in fire safety. Not does that cost that much more if you're building a new home? About one and a half uh, percent of your overall purchase price of the home. So. So a dollar or two a square foot. It's really worth it's it. worth it. Okay. Worth it. Second most important tip is once you know there's a fire, you've got to react. Like you said, you might have three minutes or less to get out of there. Exactly. So you need to sit down with your family, map out a plan, make sure people know two ways out of every Two escape route. routes. Uh -huh. that, mean, that way, if one of your, your primary route is blocked by heat or smoke, you can use your second way out. How do you know if it's blocked? Okay. So let's say your smoke alarms are going off, you're sound asleep in your bed. Roll out of bed. Roll out. Uh-huh. You're, you're touching the doorknob or the crack around the, do the door because a door won't conduct heat very well. So if it feels cool, peek out. And you should be low as you're doing yes, this. Yes, you're reaching out with the back of your hand. Peek out. If there's no sign of smoke, then it's okay to go out that way. But if you see smoke, you want to use your second way out. And okay. often that's the window. And if you see smoke, you got to get down because smoke rises. You're, so you're crawling. Yes. Exactly. You're crouching or crawling where the air is clearer, up on your hands and knees. Okay. Head down or up? Up. About right on your hands and knees will be perfect. Okay. That'll keep you below the smoke level. All but right. your face above the floor where some toxins can settle to the floor. Open that window. Now hopefully you've planned and you have your escape ladder if you're on a second or third floor. You're deploying this now. Okay. And you keep this near the window. Ne yeah. Maybe you under the bed. You've practiced it because they can be a little tricky. Okay. Do you throw this out? No. Because if there's a window below, we can crash that window open. Okay. okay so you're opening it up. You're extending it. Hooking it on Hold to on. the... I haven't yeah. practiced enough here, Mary Kay, but I can get it. There, there we go. go. Open it up. If you have a child, you want to make sure to keep your children right near you. A, with a baby, have a snuggly that you can strap the baby so on, and then you babies. still have your hands free to go down the ladder. Very important to have your hands free. Yes. And third most important thing, meeting point outside. Absolutely. Why is that so key? Because you want a central point to meet. A lot of times, tragedies happen when people go back inside a burning building. So you want to make sure you're outside at your meeting, meeting point, calling the fire department once safely outside. All right, Mary Kay, thank you so much. Please do a fire drill tonight. It is the most important thing you can it's do. It's important to drill and change those batteries in the smoke alarm, test the smoke alarm. Absolutely. Very key. Hannah? Yeah, when you change the time on the clock, right, Tracy, like we spring forward, that's a good time to check those batteries. But also, what about fire extinguishers in the house, Tracy? Are those important? What do you think about fire extinguishers? Fire extinguishers can be great if you know how to use them. If there are folks in your home and you're awakened in the middle of the night, my recommendation would be spend your time getting everybody out. Get everybody out. Don't even call 911. Call from outside. Get everybody out. That's, That's right. Key. Within three minutes. Hannah? Great. Great advice this morning. Thanks so much. That's Tracy Smith. Thank you. And now with more news, here's Russ. Good morning again.